Hello everybody. Uh, today we are going to talk about the flipped learning and flipped class using iStudio class. This is a little bit uh, interesting talking about the flipped classroom because uh, now I'm showing you how we make a presentation in real time and the machine I'm using is called iStudio. The flipped learning has been talking to many people about the new generation of classroom which is means the lesson at home and doing homework at class. Uh, this is quite interesting topic that the classroom has been used uh, more than several maybe thousand of years and now we are talking about the flipped method using the smart technology. Uh, today the topic I'm going to explain and discuss with you how we use uh, iStudio for flipped learning realization so we can make a very different way of education system in the history. Now I'm showing very simple pictures from the uh, Egypt classroom. I got this one from Google, uh, just copy from the internet. So the, uh, the this is called the blackboard, no blackboard error. Uh, about 5000 BC to uh, AD 1800, which means 200 years ago. I would say there is no class who has a blackboard. So the the long, long time of the human history, like uh, 7,000 years ago, I don't know, maybe the much more than that, the education happened in the classroom, and every classroom there is no real blackboard. The teacher and students at this time, we call this is a personal education system. Individual students, teacher is interested in teaching, and then they are always checking what students uh, really studied at home. So the second generation uh, is the cold blackboard era, which means the classroom has a blackboard. So the always there is a stage where the students and teacher, the teacher can speak in front of the uh, classroom. This is quite interesting that one teacher speak and all people listen. Of course, the uh, Asian time also have a similar structure, but uh, more and more after we have a blackboard, teacher has to teach, showing all the drawings and writings on the blackboard, and definitely teacher has to be stand in front of students. So teacher doing all speech, all the students watching the teacher. This is a small scale of broadcast in the classroom. So I would say there is another error of uh, PowerPoint and project screen. So it is not long time to have a project in every classroom. I call this is a 1999 to year 2014 generation where we has been used all the PowerPoint and project screen. Now the smart device, I would say same style because they have a screen where you want, they want to sh uh, show some screens like a projectors. So this time we have to discuss is it really we have to put the smart device as a presentation revolution. So actually more than 3.5 billion people are using the, the smart device. So all the people has much more cameras, videos on their screen than TV screens. So let's review what kind of things happening right now. The comparing the project generation and also the uh, smart classroom. The smart classroom actually showing this kind of picture. There all the students standing, talking, discussing, teachers going down from the stage. There's no stage at all in the classroom. This is one of the most advanced classroom in Korea Busan Ministry of Education. They are using all the modernized technology for smart classroom. They call this is a one of the most advanced smart class. Still, what we find here, there is a teacher in the front, there is a blackboard screen, which means conventional way of teaching. But 
again, when you talk about the next generation of classroom, I would say next generation, some people may not agree this idea. This classroom has all the students there, and you see here the distance remote, uh, the discussing, and also all the students doing by themselves. This is called flipped learning. So it's like we have a TV generation. TV means every people meeting in the dining room, there is a TV and they watch same channels. While we have a smart era, so smart era people coming to some place, but still they have an individual uh, smart device, they watch, they search, and then they sharing their meeting. So same concept we can apply for the classroom. So Blackboard classroom, actually has a really serious problem that many students, sometimes more than 80%, sometimes 90%, didn't clearly understand what teacher wants to teach. So that's the main issue that how many daily students really understand the class. If there is a more than 80% of senior high school students doesn't understand the daily class, this is a huge problem actually for the human histories. So there is a question that is Blackboard class better than without Blackboard? Of course, every people say Blackboard classroom is much better, but what I'm saying here is, is it really better education to the students without Blackboard? What happens if there's no Blackboard? The teacher will have more talkings and discussions. So this is the, the problem of Blackboard classroom because even they have more technology and Blackboard, the result is not so great as we expected. So flipped learning, actually flipped class is, uh, is exactly the same concept as all the history. So when we have a very old Asian time, there is no Blackboard, and then we have some Blackboard gathering 20 to 30 people, and now projector screen actually can do more people than any other device, which means we can go 100 people, 200 people, or more than that numbers. So all this time, we moved the teacher. The teacher was here and talking, individual discussions. But after we have a blackboard with the teacher standing in front, and eventually, all the presentation always coming with the PowerPoint slide, not the presenter like this. Sometimes presenter has to be very big, so people has to watch their eye to make a realization of their presentation. So my question is how we make a smart classroom. Is the smart class can be better than Blackboard class? This is a big question how we really make this. So the frag from the blackboard to the smart world is happening, but what people expecting the smart education is that there is a lecture. So once you see the video I'm making, you will get some idea how we realize the presentation. And all the presentation I'm doing is self-operated, which means I have no other people except me supporting my presentation. Everything is a real time, which means this is a really presenting device, not only the recording or broadcasting device, but also this is a real-time presentation device. So to make a flag flip class, what's the most important is they need very simple one-touch operation for teacher, so teacher can operate everything and do live presentation as like I'm doing. That means all the device here, no control surface but pointer device in mouse. So once you have mouse, you can bring your mouse here and you can drink, you can draw something and change something like this way or that way. So all the operation I can do from this one to make that way, zooming in to go to the left, something like that. All this operation is so easy that we can make a classroom in real time to make this one as a presenting device. So this one has to be real-time present and recording without operator. So presenter has the whole right to, to control the camera angle and also content changes. And most important thing is the live presentation like I'm doing. When I show, 
excuse me, my presentation to any other people, they should not complain that I didn't come there. They should appreciate that I'm doing the video presentation from remotely. So this device doing presentation and simultaneous recording. So once you do presentation, it sh should stay forever. And also it is not only for the classroom people, it is for the people's all the smart world people who want to listen to your lecture. So the uh, way I'm using right now, I'm using the, the iStudio, the VR classroom, the virtual class, because we make a very different classroom all the time. We have a design very easily and simply, and everything you can change. For example, here we can uh, control the size of the, uh, let's say, the decoration. So this decoration we can change colors to have any different color and also I can make a very bright one, something like that. Of course the background and wall, we can say wall can be changed like this way and then the background I can bring another screen like that way. So they have a very different looks if I make a, some effect here, which is the machine control. And the floor is I can change into wooden floor, so that's a little bit different feeling you will get from that kind of structures. So every every part actually in this component you can change by yourself. So we can go back to the presentation to with a fr from a different feeling of the studio. Now the studio become more bright. So the, this is called iStudio class because you can use this one in the classroom. So there is a teacher, notebook, and then screen will show like that way. For example, what I am doing right now, my, my environment actually uh, like this. So it looks like uh, not so beautiful, but once you have conversion like this, you have a very beautiful scenery. And also we can show that the live class is like I'm doing in front of me, there is a, uh, the, the iStudio screen, the project screen, so every people can see from there. So the beautiful screen coming out with the iStudio, so always the students will thinking, watching the screen, looks like uh, watching movie screens. So it has a virtual classroom graphics, chroma key mixer teacher, mi so eventually they have a mixed screen in a way that present up sometimes very big so every people can concentrate on the teacher's speech. Sometimes they have project screen very big, something like that. So all operation easily made by a single person without complex complex devices. So this device is so easy that any person can learn within ten minutes and also any infinite different style of the studio as I show you very easily change for their preference. So that is the key advantage of this iStudio. And because of this capability, we can make a self-presentation and also recording, and it can be transmitted to any place in the world, which means we can really make a real-time distance presentation using this device. So it looks like this, you have a chroma key here, you have a notebook, and notebook screen can be mixed with a pro presenter with a very beautiful screens. So as I show you, as I show you, we have a chroma key, so they take the presenter and also their notebook, and they're mixing in virtual space to make a very beautiful looks like you are watching right now. So let's go back to the, uh, the presentation screen. So this screen, the simple one, we have uh, four different angle where you can change the size of actor, just like I'm doing now. For example, I can make a zoom further, then you just go there and click the camera and make a zoom control so you can make a bigger screen like that way. Or when you want to have a monitor one, shift it to left, yes, of course you can do this way. And also you can easily set every shape. Even the, f the frame of the, uh, the monitor frame, we can change like this kind of screen so it will make a more beautiful different style very easily, something like that. Here we have a th the special effect so you can make a slightly transparent so they have a 
much beautiful frame than you expected. So the, uh, we have a lot of uh, different uh, combination of the studio. So we just providing some template. Basically, you can find any image, so you can change very quickly for ISO 120, which means you can make infinite studio very quickly. So all the beautiful uh, studios you can make. So entertainment, talk shows, everything is possible. And all this one-touch mouse, which means I can bring this one and draw something here, and also I can rotate to make a zooming in and out very easily. So that way, all these mouse single tip control. So the flip teaching means the teacher is teaching from the back, not from, from stand. So as soon as teacher standing here, the older students has watched the teacher's face or PowerPoint slide. Instead, we just mix the output and teacher is teaching from the back, watching what's the output, what's he showing to the students. So teacher knows all the nice scenery they can provide for students. It is very simple. We have eyes to here, man monitor and camera, and then you have a video like this. Very beautiful uh, videos you can create. This is a real installation in the live presentation. So he teaching here, and all the people watching this side. So simple. Anytime we can connect and install there. So this is a typical classroom in the USA. I'm trying to make that kind of classroom, and also this is the one of the conference room in Singapore, and then you see here all the people trying to make a photo, so they are really immersively studying my presentation. So this is a way how they make a presentation, real-time lecture video, real-time video, Skype remote presentation is available. This picture is showing we put this size studio on here, so he's doing all the presentation and watching. A lot of people very appreciate to use this technology. So as a conclusion, the iStudio can do all, all in one machine. It can do very nice presentation, as like I'm doing. And also it can do lecture video conference. So this one directly going to the Skype, so every people, without any special device, they can join, watch the distance real presentation using iStudio. So smart broadcast, use streams through internet, live stream, Connect Pro, WebEx is a matter of issue that you just uh, take output window as an input. Then you have all the presentation video coming out from there. Thank you very much for your, uh, listening to my presentation. So we have uh, uh, the very innovative product line. We are going to demonstrate from NAB. So you will participate all the different e-learning and distance learning technology. Tadim is, in ta is announcing very attractive one. We hope you come to NAB, watch this video, and experience the new generation of the flipped learning solutions. Thank you very much.